This new processor represents the next evolution of India's quantum stack. One built entirely in-house from qubit design and cryogenics to control electronics and cloud integration. Bengaluru-based QPI AI has unveiled Kaveri, a 64 qubit superconducting quantum processor, the most powerful quantum chip ever built in India. Launched at the Emerging Science, Technology and Innovation Conclave in Delhi, the announcement was presided over by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and inaugurated by Union Science and Technology Minister Jitendra Singh. The Kaveri builds on the success of QPI AI's Indus 25 qubit system launched last year. So, according to the company, this new processor represents the next evolution of India's quantum stack. One built entirely in-house from qubit design and cryogenics to control electronics and cloud integration. QPI AI said the chip will be commercially available by quarter 3 of 2026, targeting government labs, research institutes and of course enterprises in cryptography, optimization, materials, science and machine learning. Nagendra Nagaraja, founder and CEO of QPI AI, called it a very proud moment for India's scientific community, end quote. Adding, Kaveri demonstrates what is possible when world-class talent, ambitious vision and indigenous innovation come together. Wonderfully put, sir, end quote. As quantum quant uh, computing becomes central to cryptography, defense and national security, India's ability to design and fabricate its own qubit systems signals technological sovereignty in a domain dominated by the United States and China. We know this. But by moving from 25 to 64 qubits, India enters the league of nations with intermediate scale quantum processors alongside Canada, Germany and Japan. The Kaveri project also aligns with the government's national quantum mission, which aims to build 1,000 qubit systems by 2030. So at the same event, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled the RDI scheme, a new initiative to boost private sector-driven R&D and accelerate the lab-to-market transition of emerging technologies. He highlighted that India's R&D spending has doubled over the past decade, Patent registrations have surged, wait for this number, it will make you proud, 17 times. Nice. And the country is now a pioneer of transformation through technology, end quote. The PM also underscored India's growing leadership in quantum computing, green hydrogen and semiconductors, while reaffirming India's commitment to ethical and human-centric AI. He also announced that India will host the Global AI Summit in February 2026, positioning the country at the center of global AI and quantum discourse. So, why does this matter? Because of this, technological sovereignty. Kaveri cements India's status as a very serious player in the global quantum race. The innovation flywheel combines indigenous R&D, fabrication and application layer development within one ecosystem. The commercial readiness aspect, a clear roadmap toward enterprises, government adoption by 2026, not just a lab prototype. The policy alignment fits directly into India's quantum mission making in India and broader deep tech policy framework. So basically, Kaveri is not an isolated story. Clearly, it sits actually within a rapidly evolving ecosystem that encompasses policy, research, hardware, startups and regional hubs. The national quantum mission in India has driven funding and institutional support for quantum technologies across hardware, communication, sensing and materials. The total budget approved for the national quantum mission, which is the NQM in India is, here's the number, 6,003.65 crore rupees for the period 2023 to 2024 to 2030 to 31. QPI AI itself raised a $32 million funding round in 2025 with backing from India's quantum mission and private investors. QPI AI publicly lists a roadmap from Indus, which is 25 qubits, to Kaveri, which is 64, as we mentioned. Then, higher systems, 128, 256, 1000 qubits over the coming years. Multiple Indian states 
are positioning themselves as quantum hubs, aiming to build ecosystems for talent, manufacturing and innovation, which will feed into the national ecosystem clearly. States like Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka are building dedicated quantum hubs. We've covered this extensively right here on front page. That's what happens when you subscribe. Challenges persist. Although hardware advances are real, India is still building scale, supply chain depth, workforce depth and error correction capabilities. Common issues globally for quantum hardware. So it's not just us. Just wanted to clarify that. The ecosystem's maturity is still developing. So finally, every technology power builds a moment like this. When research ambition meets industrial capability. For India, Kaveri is that moment. It turns the idea of making India from assembly to architecture. And it signals a deeper truth, which is the next wave of global computing breakthroughs may not just be imported. They could be designed, cooled and coded right here. Thank you.